Hey everyone, it's a nice calm afternoon slash evening. I'm down at my local uh, catfish pond using the ultralight today. I'm going to try to catch some bullhead. So I'm looking forward to some fun and relaxation. That did not take long. Perch. Not what I'm after. I find the bullhead don't really bite until about two hours before sunset. So I'm not that surprised to see a perch. But it is a cloudy day, so they might start a little earlier. Now this is relaxing. There's something. What is this? Ooh, I think that was my first bullhead. The bullhead are starting to bite. There we go. Hey, there's our first bullhead. Watch your spines. There. See, I got some perch in here, which I'm gonna let go. I was just playing with them until the bullhead started biting. They're very pretty fish though. And one more. All right, let's catch some bullhead. Absolutely gorgeous this evening. No oh, fish on. Hey, another bullhead. That's two. Two bullhead and about a million perch. There we go, another bullhead. Number three. Got another bullhead. Yep. Number four. There we go. Bullhead. Oh, back to back bullhead. First time tonight. I think it's almost bullhead o'clock. The bullhead are starting to bite. It's just like clockwork. Since I discovered this lake, I find you'll catch nothing but perch, maybe minnows, micros all day long. And then just as the angle of the sun gets lower, maybe two hours before sunset, the perch start to die off and it's bullhead time. I had a bite right there. Okay, let's catch a couple dozen more. Oh, 
I was robbed. That happened about 300 times tonight. Shrimp falls off pretty easy. What I'm using is a size 4 octopus hook, barbless, and just some tiny, tiny shrimp, popcorn shrimp, raw. Hook it on just like that. Then soak it. Oh yeah boy. Fish after fish. Today I'm fishing for fun, but I'm also trying to prove something. Two years ago I discovered this lake and I never caught any bullhead up to that point, the Ministry of Natural Resources website, their Fish Online website, lists brown bullhead as the species in this lake. And I just took it for granted that that's, that's what they were because, you know, they're professionals. But after diving in a little bit deeper, I did some research and this area has not only brown bullhead, but black bullhead. And last fall, when I was fishing with Prairie Mountain Man, I caught some authentic brown bullhead in the Red River in Manitoba, and I noticed they looked a lot different than the ones I was catching here. So I used my Peterson's Field Guidebook for fish, how to identify them, learned a few things, and I have a big enough sample size now, I'm gonna check it out and see if these are black bullhead or brown bullhead. One of the telltale signs, it's a black bullhead, is you can see this light crescent in front of the tail. Every single one of these fish has that. Black barbells too. But another indicator is the back of the pectoral spine is smooth on these guys. Brown bullhead have serrated spines. Another thing is, you can see right there, the uh, anal fin on a brown bullhead, it's considerably longer, many more rays. And lastly, if you look at the color, it's a solid olive. This one's kind of an olive black color. Brown bullhead has a really mottled pattern, similar to camouflage. So, all these fish in here are black bullhead. They're all blacks. There you have it, folks. I confirmed that these are black bullhead in Kemuel Lake. So that is a new species on my life list. Science time is over. Back to fishing. These guys scrap pretty good. For five inch long fish on the ultralight, they, uh, yeah, they like to battle. It's just like piranhas in here. Watch it. Watch the shrimp. It'll disappear. Gone. Crazy. Piranhas of the north. Oh yeah. Woo! So much fun. Got the big belly on that thing. Probably full of shrimp, aren't you? Oh yes. So much fun on the ultralight. When you're holding bullhead, just like most catfish, you gotta really watch out for these pectoral spines 
and even on the dorsal fin, they'll sting you. I got it last year pretty good. Such a beautiful spot close to home. Perfect place to spend a relaxing evening. And it's overlooked. Ooh, another bullhead. Into the bucket. I know these fish are tiny, but with action like this in such a perfect evening, it's hard to walk away. Look at all that. Sure, they're five, six inches long, but non stop. As soon as they start biting, they don't stop. If I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd probably stay till dark. While the sun is still up, I guess I'll do uh, wrap this up, make an outro. It's a fun day. I accomplished my goal of identifying these bullhead in here, and they are in fact not brown bullhead, they are black. And the weather and the scenery, action, it's just so awesome. Like, it's going to be hard to leave here. I'm going to fish for another 20, 30 minutes, catch a, catch a bunch more of these guys, then I'm out of here. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you at the next video. There we go. Getting too easy. Like, seriously, I've thrown several back. This pail is full. I'm just doing this for fun. I'll release them all later. Just wanted to see, you know, what a couple dozen bullhead in a pail look like in a cooler. It's awesome. Sun is behind the trees. It's setting. Tells me that my time here is almost over. One more fish and I'll call it. There's something playing with my line right now. I'll take it. There we go. Oh yeah, nice bullhead. That'll end the day. They're fatty. an absolute fatty. Back he goes. I'm done. <laughs>